What's up guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to teach you how to analyze data over time by playing an animated visualization in Power BI. But before you get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. So now guys, let's do this. So real quick before we get started, this is the final outcome. And as you can see, I'm gonna be applying two different methodologies here. The first one is by importing this visual, the play access visual. And then the other one is by using the native play access within Power BI Desktop. So just to give you a quick idea about what's happening here. So let's hit play and see what happens. There you go. So as you can see, that's going to be a dynamic visualization, a dynamic report. Okay. So now let's do this guys. So this is the data. This is the report that we're going to be using. And I'm going to share with you also this data so you can follow along. So real quick, I want to give you more background about this type of visuals. So in Power BI, the idea of analyze data over time is to find major events, trends, and also outliers. You can use different types of visualizations. You can use line charts, area charts, and also scatter charts. For this particular tutorial, we're going to be using, as you can see, this scatter chart. And also the one on the right is this line chart. And of course, we're going to be using the important visual called play axis and I'm going to teach you how to do that as well. So what happens if your organization doesn't allow you to use important visuals? You can still use the play axis visual within Power BI Desktop. This is going to be the native visual and I'm going to teach you how to do that as well. Okay. As a reference here, we have three different tables. We have the DAX measures table and we have the average stock price here. We also have the number of stocks in millions. It's right there. We also have a calendar table here. And finally, we have here the fact table called tech for this particular case. And here we have data for three different companies, Amazon, Google, and also Tesla. The data is coming from Finance Yahoo. And here is the link if you want to take a look at that as well. All right, no more talking and let's do this. So now let's get started with the imported play access visual. So this is the visual that we have here. This is a scattered visual, like I said before, scattered chart. First step here is to start dragging and dropping fields into these boxes. So let's do that. For the X axis here, we're going to use the average number of stocks. Okay. So let's drag this into this box. There you go. And then for the Y axis, we're going to use the average stock price. There you go. And then for legend, we're going to use company. It is right here. Now you can see three different dots here, right? The red one for Tesla, the blue one for Google, and then the other one for Amazon. So it's working perfectly fine. So we are just seeing here dots, right? What is going on? As you can see, this visual is a little bit tricky. What you can do is use volume, for example, and drag this into the values box. And let's see what happens. Boom. So now you can see everything in the same visual, right? Another cool thing that you can do here is to add size. And for this particular case, we're going to use the average stock price. So let's drag this measure into size and let's see what happens. Boom. Perfect. So now let's add the fields for the other visual. For the X axis, we're going to use year month. And then for the Y axis, we're going to use the average stock price. And then for legend, we're going to use company. So now you can clearly see the trends right over time. There you go. Until December 2022. So it's working perfectly fine. So now let's import this play access visual. For me, it's already here. I already imported this. If you haven't done this, click on here, get more visuals, get more visuals, 
you can type here play access if you want so it's right there click on this option and then automatically it will get populated right here like you can see here okay so it is right there and the next step is to insert this visual it's already here and we're going to use quarter from the calendar table let's drag this into here and let's see what happens boom so one of the coolest thing about this visual is that you can customize so let's hit play and see what happens here okay check this out so now you can clearly see what's going on so amazon was the first company that was public based on this data So you can clearly see the behavior. Google was incorporated and then it keeps going. So let's stop this for a second. You can customize this visual as well. So let's select the visual here, the plate access visual, and then go over here, format your visual and here, so you can also customize the time. So remember this is in milliseconds. How about 500 milliseconds instead of a thousand? Hit enter and see what happens. So the changes would be faster. Let's see. See right there? It is so much faster. So you can customize the pace. Another cool thing is, let's stop this for a second. If you go over here again, you can also change colors how about this color and then automatically this is changing right so you can also turn this off the caption or you can turn it on so that's what you can do here okay what do you think so far so let's keep playing this and see what happens so 2016 2017 18 19 2021 and then 2022 boom see right there tesla the average stock price went up dramatically compared to the other two companies so now let's do the same thing but by using the native play axis let's move on to the next page here you go so this is very similar it's already there i can actually add here the for size, I can add here the average stock price as well. There you go. So it's very similar now. So let's say that your company doesn't allow you to import visuals. That's their policy. So how can we solve this issue? So one of the features that the scatter visual has is also the plate access visual or the plate access option. So let's select the visual for a second and let's see how we can do this so once you select the visual there is an option here called play access right there you go so what we can do next is go over dates or calendar table and drag quarter into here check this out boom so now you can see here the native play access let's hit play and see what happens check this out so there are limitations here for example if you want to change the speed you cannot do that but it helps anyways so if you're not allowed to import visuals this is also a good option another point to be aware of here is that this interaction is happening just for the scattered visual so as you can see it's not changing any other visuals like this one right here on the right something to keep in mind when you are working with native play access in Power BI. If you haven't used these two tools, it's highly recommended. Use them when you are performing data analysis all the time. I hope you found this tutorial helpful as always. If so, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and also don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. If you want to keep learning Power BI, check this tutorial right here. Alright, see you guys next time.